This is the place. Back then there was no boardwalk. I built it. But a beach doesn't change that much in the course of one's life. Watch that step there. As a child, I was once playing in the dunes and stepped on a nasty piece of broken glass. I spent about a week in the hospital because of that beer bottle shard. But otherwise, all my memories of this beach are positive. And now, Jan Henrich Büttner has returned to Schleswig Holstein, straight from California. He wants to turn the beach and the nearby abandoned village into a luxury hotel complex called Palace Estate Weissenhaus. These three buildings, we can only see two of them, make up the spa, the Forest Thermal Springs. This is the historic coach house. And that's the new building. And with this tunnel, we've connected the entire new building complex to the manor, as you can see. And it's not an easy task. The buildings had to be supported from below, so that when the tunnel was dug, the buildings wouldn't tilt. Büttner has been a builder for eight years now. He used to be an internet entrepreneur. Now he commutes between Hamburg and the United States. He and his architect visit the construction site once a week. Büttner jested around the world for years. Now he wants to bring all his impressions and experience back home. He's already invested 50 million euros in this old estate. Büttner was a manager with the Bertelsmann Publishing Company and made a fortune when it sold off AOL Europe almost 10 years ago. If you've earned a little fortune, it doesn't mean you can just retire at 40 and say, now I'm just going to sit by my pool and drink champagne. That doesn't make sense. You've got to do something. And then came the big surprise, the opportunity to buy an historic village in a highly industrialized country, directly on the Baltic Sea. And here I can shape and plan everything just the way I like it. And there's nothing around it to disturb me. The project is expected to cost almost 70 million euros. At some point, the investment has to pay for itself. It'll take 10 to 14 years, that's my estimate. The good thing is that it's all invested in a way that it doesn't have to recoup the money immediately. There are loans to be paid off as well as interest. A lot of the money is my own, and some comes from other investors. But they don't expect the money to be paid back right away. Büttner is gradually revamping the old village. It has a total of 40 houses, many of which will be turned into vacation apartments. His hotel director shows us the model suite. The card reader is here to the left under the lamp. It's contact free. You just have to hold the card within two centimeters of it and it unlocks the door. It opens at a touch. Okay, perfect. A suite with four rooms, including a kitchen and a children's room, costs 600 euros a night. Seven restaurants are planned, and one is already open. The Boathouse restaurant is right down on the beach, where Büttner played as a child. Klein Jan. When I was a child, I collected jellyfish and shells right there. My parents used to drive in and park over there. Back then it wasn't a car-free nature preserve. You could drive in and park under trees and walk to the beach. There was a snack bar with french fries and hot dogs. This is where I played as a child. And when my kids were small, they did the same. Jan-Henrich Büttner envisions hotel guests already strolling on the beach this year, while he will continue to commute between the Baltic and the Pacific. <laughs>